If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Welcome back to the one and only, the incredible, the spectacular. Who doesn't know what day it is? But getting close. Larry, welcome back to Larry's Pin Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about a pin case, a special pin case. A special thank you to Frank from Federalist Pins and Paper for sending me this beautiful pin case for review. And uh, let me talk a little bit about the pin case, and then we're actually going to get into the pin case and go from there. So it's a nice, sturdy leather case. I've already checked it out. And what's cool about this one is, is uh, you can pull out the suede inserts that secure your pins. So let me show you that real quick, and then we'll come back to the beginning. Okay, that's how you open it. Got like this magnet thing, keeps it closed. And that goes down the flap, and then you can just pull this right out. Bam, I'm going to leave that open for a little bit. It's kind of cool, a little... Ill emblem there, blah, 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 blah. Yep. It also is said that this case holds oversized pins. All D. Charles cases do with ease. So a lot of you out there that's been looking for Pin cases that hold oversized pins, bam, you need to check it out. This may be the one for you, but only you know that. You can choose from a variety of colors. The second color denotes stitching colors. So here we go. I do like the feel of it. And what I think we're going to do right now, I think we need to call for that magical mystery tour. I got an invitation. Da -da. So, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> right now, first show you the stitching around the top of the pin case, and then around the pin case itself. All the stitching through and through. All the stitching in the back done very nicely. It just wasn't thrown in there. Make sure that everything was in order. I like that. I like neat looking things that come in order. And just nice to the touch. And this little emblem there. So what I'm going to do, my friends, I'm going to pull this little jewel out. See, by chance, is there a Starbucks card? Eh, I don't think so. Doesn't hurt to wish, does it? <laughs> so anyway, I am going to fill this little jewel up. So, yeah, I, I like how he has everything in order there. And the little loops that keep your pins in, well, here is like an elastic in my own words. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now this does not fold back. Well let's look at the back of this. More stitching. Yes. And down here as well. So beautifully done. Love the color. Love the feel, the look, the design. And I love where you can hold big pins as well. Well, that's a plus. So what do you say we get started? Okay. Big pins coming up. Here we go. Here's you a Jin Hao 159 coming at you. Good. Here's you the Jin Hao XL 159 
coming at you. Beautiful pen. Did I say XL? Yes. The X-159. Excuse me. Well, we all can't be perfect. And then, here is the Monteverde. One touch. Beautiful pen. And that's right there on it. And here is a Mike Green Custom Pen. Yeah, here's the pen from Mike Green Custom Pens. The one and only, the beautiful. Of course, they're all beautiful. In fact, all pens are beautiful. Right, right. Even pencils. I had to throw that in there. I like pencils. Okay. So, the Pensmith Volcano Lake. And that's where we're going to just name it. That's the material that's used. And uh, it fits in there very nicely. And here is another custom Mike Green. Beautiful pen. Look at this. Gorgeous. Now, we're not done yet. We've only just begun. Okay? Good day. Here is a fountain pen revolution. And this one, maybe the Japar. I could be wrong. And here is the beautiful, the one and only, the gorgeous mwah, Monteverde Regatta. What else? And how about the one and only, the Paniter, coming at you? Well, we're getting there, right? But not quite. So here, the uh, Platinum, made in Japan, Fonte pen that we're going to put here on the end. Nice little skinny little sucker there. And... Let me see if I even have this one in. Oh, yeah, I do. I can't see that too well. Could you, Mr. Announcer? Oh, Lingmo. Is it? Okay. We'll put the Lingmo right in there. Now, now we're all filled up. Okay, now what are we going to do next? Look at them. Ta da! Give me a head with pins. Yeah. Okay, I'm in heaven. Yes, I am. You know, I don't know about anybody else, but I have one hell of a great time with my fountain pens. They bring me so much pleasure. Not only that, the journals, the notebooks, you name it, pen cases, whatever it is, the inks. They all bring me pleasure. Now, it's all in here. And I want everybody to see. Closed. There you have it. Bam, bam, bam. So here's time to get some pins out. So you can either take the whole sleeve out and then sit there for hours debating which pin you're going to use. Or just kind of look at them. Talk to them, baby them, and then pick out the pen you're going to use. So, a lot of fun, eh? Yep, I think so. Well, folks, that's going to do me today. So, where do you find these pen cases at? Well, you're going to go to no other than to Frank's place, the one man show, which has over 50, 50 items in stock 
different brands and things, and it just goes and goes. It never ends. To Federalist pens and paper to his website, and you can place your orders there. And you know, Frank has all kinds of discounts going all over the place. It's totally crazy. You will find a discount. Now we talked about doing Larry's discount, but you know, like I told Frank, Frank, you got so many uh, codes as it is now. You don't even need to do that. Seriously, the man's got a bunch. I mean, a bunch, 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 bunch of bam discounts. So. And he will get them out to you ASAP. And of course, if you can't find what you want or you're having trouble looking, give him a buzz and he'll get back with you. So, I, you know, I hope this sheds some light about this beautiful pin case. Really, has, it's made very well. Now, it's not a low-end pin case, but it's not a high-end pin case. It's around what? 80 bucks or so, maybe. I'm not really sure. Is it worth having for your collection? Oh, yes. Uh huh. But you can find these on his site as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the pin case review. Frank, Federalist, Pins and Paper. Google that in. Pull Frank up. Put him to work. And, uh, oh, by the way, Frank is a doggy enthusiast as well. Dee Dee! Hugs and kisses. And uh, I think that's all that needs to be said now. So before I go, let me just, because I love pulling the sleeve out. Here we go. And we're going to leave it just like this. Folks, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pin Review. Today I reviewed the D. Charles pin case. And I hope you found it helpful. Remember, it's your money. Spend it wisely. Peace and love to each and every one of you. Stay safe, my friends. Stay healthy. God bless. Later, Gator. I'm out of here.